Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kira Marie and I am here with another video. If you like fashion, beauty, travel, and food, you are on the right channel. So please don't forget to like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my next videos coming in. Um, this time I'm gonna come at you with a Sephora haul and I also have a couple of other things to show you. Um, I did, I went to the mall and I got me you know, I wanted to take advantage of the Sephora B.I.B., but I also wanted to grab a couple of other things that I wanted and I want to show you in this video. Um, so let's get started with the other things that has nothing to do with Sephora and then we'll go on and continue with the Sephora B.I.B. sale. So the first thing I want to show you is a pair of sneakers that I bought. So me. these are it. These are pretty much something that a lot of people have today. Nothing special, but I wanted to be um i wanted to be part of it and <laughs> i wanted to join so i got me this air uh air force ones and um i think they will look cute with you know cas casual dress down outfits that i like to wear from time to time and so these are the new style i believe and so i just wanted to you know grab them real quick and just take advantage you know they, they will be very useful so i figure i can get them so these are it next i got me a perfume from neiman marcus so let me show you here is the bag and i did get me a bond perfume and um this is the madison madison square park scent and um yeah madison square park sorry i had to look at it twice um it smells really good so let me um show you what the bottle looks like and this is the 3.7 i think it is 3.3 i'm sorry 3.3 and it smells really good you will go a long way with a little bit it's very flowery i mean i don't know about no an expert when it comes to perfumes i don't know about notes and flowers that it has or anything like that but this is like a soft smell with like you know flowers a little bit of sweetness to it um i think the flowers kind of like take over but it's soft, it's not out there. So it's very light. Um, I thought it smelled good, so I'll let you know how it works out. But they do recommend that you try these perfumes in the store, just in case it doesn't work with your, you know, your body chemistry. But I took it and I have not experimented that yet. So I'll let you know how this goes later on. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our Sephora haul. I wanted to take advantage of this sale because you know it doesn't happen all the time and so i bought me a few things and i want to start with this tasha that brings two things so it brings the dewy skin cream and the rice wash so i have a wash in here face wash and the dewy cream and i wanted to try it a lot of people you know like this product I know it's kind of been out there on YouTube for the longest time, but I have not tried it yet. So I wanted to, you know, just see how it goes with my skin. And so I bought me the small one to get it started with that and see if it works out, then I'll go with the bigger size. So I got me this and then, and then I also got me the um, Dewy Skin Mist. This I did try it at the store and it does give you like this dewy look that I like, especially for my skin and my age, I think I think is important. So um, this right here is really, really good. It's for normal to dry skin. And mine is combination, it's supposed to be combination. I don't know about that stuff either, but um, you know, this worked really, really good. I put it in the store and I was walking around the mall after that for a couple of more hours, I came home and my skin was looking really good. So I think this was worth buying. And um, if it does work out well, I'll continue to buy it because it, 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 it did really, it worked really well. So let's see how it goes. So let me open it real quick. Oh, this is fancy. 
I guess this is like the instructions. And then this is the package. How cute. I thought the packaging was really cute too. So this that definitely got me. All right, let's go to the next item. All right, next I got me this NARS um, foundation. It's supposed to be light reflecting foundation. Um, you know, it's funny because I told, I was looking for the makeup forever and my skin tone, what matches me is 20 Y N or I'm saying it, maybe I'm saying it wrong, but it's a 20 N Y somewhere on there. And um, they didn't have it available. I will have to get it online. And so I told her to find me something similar and the, the salesperson and she recommended this one. This one also came out new from NARS and I wanted to give it a try, but now that I'm reading this, um, the Makeup Forever is medium to full coverage and this one says light. So I don't think she gave me a good recommendation based on that, but I'll try it and if it doesn't work, I'll just return it. But this is what the bottle looks like. Let's open it. And this is it. Their packaging is pretty much the same old deal. They have not changed anything. And um, I am using shade Sahel, S-A-H-E-L. That's my shade. And I'm more to the golden side, neutral, warm. Next, I got me this um, mascara from IT. And I actually grabbed a Dior one first. And when I saw the container for this one, I thought it was really cute. And it sold me. So because I tried the Dior before, I wanted to try this one that I have never tried. It looks like the little brush from a blowout for blowouts. And um, it is so cute. So I was like, you know what? Let me try it because it seems like it's a good product. Um, I've seen reviews and let me i just wanted to give it a try but i totally forgot to get the dior one from my basket and the lady was ringing me out and i was not paying attention and i also bought me the dior one so this i am going to return because i don't need two of them and i have others upset in my room that um my vanity that i can you know use on top of the new one so this i'm going to return this one and I used this one before. I know it's a good product. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep this one to use this one because I've never used it. And this one is going to be returned. Next, I got me a lip gloss. You know, I, I'm looking for a lip gloss that kind of like stays. NARS used to make them back in the days, but they don't make them anymore. They changed the formula, I believe. And the salesperson recommended me to use this one, Natasha Denona. Apparently she's new and, or these are new products from her. I never heard of her before or of this brand. And she recommended this one. I did try it on this, in the store and it was like a heavy, heavy um, consistency. So I, I wanted to try it. And so I bought it. It's like a natural nude look. And let me put some right now. It feels good. I'm not looking at myself in the mirror, but it feels good. And I just, you know, wanted to try it. So I bought it and this is that. Oh, by the way, this is the shade Kala, C-A-L-L-A. -L -L -A. Next, I got me a Huda Liquid Matte Lipstick, I guess. <laughs> and this is the Bombshell shade. And Huda, I mean, Huda is good. I like Huda. And so, and I love this shade. So I wanted to give it a try. Um, you know, have some shades like this, more of the same. I typically buy about the same shades all the time from different brands and they all give me about the same results. But if you like lipstick, you'll know what I'm talking about. I have a bunch of about the same shade, different brands and I just use whatever I pull first, um, but this is from Huda. Next, I got me this Vitamins from Hum, um, H-U-M. 
these are supposed to flatter you <laughs> supports and flatter your stomach and it helps with uh, digestion so this is something that i need and so i wanted to give it a try um i know a couple of people that are using these products they have different ones for like your skin for your hair nails and then digestion and um, sleep and so i wanted to try this one it was like 18.99 or so so why not and so here i have them i'll let you know how it goes and last, I got me a Christian Dior Lip Addict. This is the what the box looks like. And um, this is the little container. I mean, you know how much I rave about the Boxum Lip Balm? Let me show you. This one right here. This one is my favorite of all times. Plus, the price is worth it. It's less than $20. I think it's $18.99 if I, I am not mistaken. Um, but this one is worth buying when there's BIB or sales or a discount or anything like it's that. It's like kind of like the same results, honestly. But for same results, I'll go with Buxom. So, but this one is worth buying when there, whenever there's a sale or a discount, like I said before. So, I got another one of these. And, and that's pretty much it. I am done with everything that I bought. I think that was enough. I spent quite some money that I didn't even have to spend. I mean, but I'll give them use anyway in the long run. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye.